All right, Ben Parker of CardinalSportsSupport.com here with Stanford linebacker Tristan Sinclair. Um, so first of all, just talk about the bye week. How's the team feeling coming off the bye? Definitely. Uh, the bye week is great. Got a few extra practices in and uh, worked on some old stuff that uh, we needed to clean up. And then I uh, got started earlier in Colorado. It was a great week. Yeah, and just kind of what are your thoughts on the Buffs offense and the challenges that they pose? Yeah, uh, I mean, they got a lot of speed. They got a lot of dudes that can make plays. Um, and obviously, their quarterback, you know, he's very versatile. He's, I think he's leading the country in yards or something. So um, he's a great player, and they got a lot of great, great players in their uh, skill positions. Talk about, too, just kind of how you guys as a defense are adjusting to Bobby April's system. You guys have been in it for a while, obviously, yeah. from the spring and everything. But just mm -hmm. how is that kind of clicking out, do you mm -hmm. think? Yeah, I think the more and more we practice, it's like it's starting to really settle in now. Um, especially halfway through the season, like we've gotten so many reps at this point in these defenses that, um, you know, we're starting to become veterans in it and it's just becoming natural. So uh, the adjustments are faster, you know, guys are communicating better and it's really been getting better. Yeah, and two, just kind of talk about um, timing of the bye week. Mm -hmm. how, do you, how do you feel the timing was mid-season? Do you feel this was a good time for a bye week for you guys? Yeah, definitely. I know over the past few seasons we've had some crazy bye weeks. I, I don't know if it was last year or the year before, but it was like a week two bye week, which is tough, you know, because you kind of want it in the middle of the season and get some extra treatment, you know, some recovery in and, and get your legs back. Um, so week five was – after week five was definitely nice. It was a good timing. Yeah, and then also, too, just kind of talk about um, – I, I asked other people this question, but just kind of thoughts on the altitude. Obviously, Boulder is high elevation. Mm -hmm. uh, is that something you guys talk about at all or just kind of what are the challenges of playing at a high elevation altitude? Yeah, yeah I think, um, I mean, I played there my freshman year, so I didn't think it was that bad, honestly. Like guys have definitely talked about it and doing some like breathing exercises and stuff. I know some guys are doing that, um, but I think more so is the tempo because, you know, they're a hurry up offense. Um, so that's something we've been getting ready for and practicing. So I'm, it's more so about the tempo than the altitude. Just kind of talk thoughts on, on a Friday night game. Obviously, off the bye, you guys have had plenty of rest. It's not so much a factor, but just kind of thoughts on a Friday night game under the lights. Just yeah. is that a little nostalgic in a way. Definitely, definitely. Um, I like playing on Fridays. It's fun, especially, you know, it's going to be a night game and it's going to be a crazy stadium. It's going to be packed, so I'm excited for it. Obviously, you know, Coach Prime Deion Sanders has brought a lot of energy <clears throat> to that program, and oh, he's yeah. kind of generated a lot of excitement around his and just mm -hmm. college football in general. Any extra sense of, like, hype or excitement? playing those guys given that or not necessarily um i mean obviously like it's gonna be an exciting environment I'm, I'm i'm juiced for it you know i think everybody is how could you not um just like the coverage he's brought to the buffs out of nowhere you know and just bringing all that juice has been it's been kind of cool to watch from the outside and uh so i'm excited to be there and and uh and play there against them it'll be fun and uh, just kind of, what are your thoughts on uh, what are your thoughts on what you know David Bailey has brought to the program and <laughs> what you think he might do this upcoming week against the Buffs as he walks past. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I mean, David's a stud, obviously. His pass rushing is crazy. Uh, we need him big this week. We need him get some sacks this week. I'm excited to watch him play. So kind of on that, you know, talk about what needs to improve for you guys to be more aggressive in the pass. Because you guys got some guys that can do it. Mm -hmm. You're not necessarily as much of a pass rushing position because you're more inside. But just talk about what needs to you know, improve defensively for you guys to make more of that pass rush. Because you obviously contribute in other ways to that, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so, uh, I mean, obviously we have a bunch of different schemes. Um, in the Pac-12, though, there's a lot of times, like, we'll drop eight. And uh, that's tough, you know, when you're dropping eight in the three-man rush. Um, those guys, it's, it's hard to get after them. So, you know, I think that we got some stuff dialed up this week and, you know, for the future that uh, should be exciting and bring some pressure, hopefully, and get some sacks. One of the things you guys have done well, I've just been kind of looking at your PFF grades week in, week out, is the tackling grades have been pretty <laughs> solid across <laughs> the board in terms of, tackling and wrapping up guys has that been a point of emphasis and what's kind of accounted for that growth do you think yeah i think the tackling is something that is a it's just a huge part of our daily practice it's in i mean we have tackling circuits um which are great drills and, and like really like applicable drills but i think it's also just the way we practice you know the coaches are always harping on uh, near foot near shoulder finishes so every single time we're out there and we have an opportunity to tackle i mean most of the time we're thudding but uh, if there's a situation where we're not, we're at least near foot, near shoulder, and, and really getting in a real position to tackle. So that's been a huge, huge emphasis of the coaches. Talk about, too, just kind of as a linebacker, how do you kind of, just kind of, for those that haven't played the position, just explain how do you kind of make the right reads regarding run defense, pass defense, 
just kind of how do you kind of how do you read an offense to make sure you're dropping when you're supposed to, attacking when you're supposed to, and just kind of yeah, sure. managing both of those assignments. How does that work? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so I guess like what I've been taught since I was like young, I think Coach Hansen really taught me this, and then everyone's got their own kind of little adjustments for it. But I always like pick a spot in between the running back and the quarterback, um, and just kind of pick a spot and get set my eyes there, and then uh, and then I try to relax my eyes, then I can see the whole line in front of him because you want to see. The, the path of the back, so you know if his shoulders are turned, it's like more outside stretch um, or pin pull, and then uh, if it's more like a direct read where the the running back faces us, so you got to see that, and then you also got to see the pullers and, and where the linemen are going. But that's how I do it. Cool. And uh, if I can ask you too, you were you were in the number eight, if that's correct. If I'm reading that correctly. Yep. Any any significance behind that number, or is that just the number you you're rolling with? That was just the number I was rolling with. Uh, I wore 36 my freshman year, and then uh, I switched up to eight. So. Yeah. Any reason why you switched to eight, or or was it just, just? I just I just switched it out, you know. Just uh, picked it. That was like one of the available ones, so I was like, shoot, I'll take that. Awesome. Mm -hmm. um, and just kind of, kind of quickly, kind of academically speaking, just talk about how do you kind of manage, obviously making sure you're getting your work in on, on the on the football field, but also making sure you're getting your work done in the classroom mm -hmm. and you know midterms coming up, all that stuff. Just talk about a little bit how you kind of balance those two things. Yeah, I mean, I think at this point now it's just part of like the daily life. Um, you know, when I'm in class, I'm in class and I focus and study hard and, and uh, I try to get work done, like if I got time in between classes or, or whenever it is. And then um, usually in the afternoons, it's, it's all football. So I'll be, you know, watching the cutups before practice, um, before meetings and stuff. And then at night, try to get some rest, maybe chill a little bit and do a little bit more work and, and watch some film. But uh, I think it's just like the daily balance, you know, in season, we're just kind of on go all day. So it's either football or school. And that's it. Two more questions before I then I'll let you go. So first of all, uh, just talk about: uh, Do you play fantasy football? And if so, how's your team doing? How's that looking? <laughs> I'm actually not a fantasy football guy. I've never, I've never been too good at it. So I can never like sustain the whole season. It's like fun for the first like half, and then I kind of burn out. So I do not have a fantasy football team right now. Okay, well that's always interesting to know. And then final question for you: Just any favorite classes you got enrolled in this quarter that are particularly interesting or just kind of standing out there? Yeah, sure. Um, I mean, I guess one thing, so I'm actually doing some independent study this quarter, uh, which is like kind of exciting. And uh, I'm building a, like a, a new interface for uh, searching for classes um, at Stanford. So that's something I'm pretty excited about. And I'm, I'm working with uh, Professor Julie Stanford and she's sponsoring my project. So I'm really excited about that. It's been fun. Perfect. Thanks so much, Tristan. And good luck this weekend Thank against you. the Buffs. Appreciate it. There we go.